many-to-many -many relationship course daytime demo another free lesson to help you become a better coder don't forget to subscribe like and share your continued support help make these videos possible and as always I thank you all for watching this video In this tutorial, uh, I will show you how I go about referencing course day and time. And uh, in the next series, I will show you how to assign day time to a course. Let's take a look at how I how I go about doing this. All right, let's uh, let's open up our access here. We're going to create a new uh, database let's go to our folder here and access a uh, new folder let's name this guy a many to many um, sample uh, so that one's taken so let's uh, Let's do this guy. Many to many demo. That's that's good. Let's go in there. Oh, we got one there. Um, let's call many to many demo. All right. What I want to do here is uh. To demonstrate the um, the many to many relationship uh, using a class day and time all right uh, in this example uh, it will be each course uh, can ha can have many days and many times all right so and that's what we are going to do here um let's create a course table let's call course course id i'm just going to use the uh, order number here and let's see the what is this calendar normally you want you want to break this apart but for simplicity i'm just going to keep these together the calendar um in the real life situation you want to break this apart that way you don't have repeated items so you can see here repeated items this is no no but for simplicity we're gonna keep this together all right and um, and it would be broke, broken apart just like this all right like Monday Tuesday and Wednesday and it would be broken apart just like this time so these are all unique all right and this is all you need this one right here this should be broken apart but it should just have 2012 or maybe call it term type all right um so uh but i'm not going to do that um let's see should i do that hmm i could you know what? I'll I'll just I'll yeah I'll do that. I'll do that and um, uh, I was going to uh, save time, but uh, yeah I'll go ahead and break this apart. Uh, so I'm gonna take that away, delete. Um, yeah I'm gonna take that away. Yep, yep, yep. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one then. So we're just gonna have the. Um, I'm gonna swap this around. Cut, paste. Uh, it didn't work that way. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's do this. That will work. Delete this guy. 
insert this guy okay all right so we got course number course name and description um, uh, course number that would be number course name short text course uh, description and then make this an ID primary key and save we call course and then uh, we'll go ahead and populate the uh, information there just gonna copy this guy like so copy and then we're gonna create a new one this one will just be uh, we'll call it term ID order number and call it term and then make this a uh, like so and then save that will be term and then I'll just make this uh, 2022 so that's how you would break this apart all right so there and uh, by the way this course will be one too many uh, a term can have many courses so I need to fix this that will we have uh, that will we have uh, yeah let me see uh, term ID number and that's how you want to do so term would be a term would be a parent all right a foreign key in this case so now if I do that I just add term as one like so that's how you break this apart all right so that one represents term uh, term all right so that's how you uh, uh relate them now let's do a what is the next one a day so we'll have course day id again i'm going to use auto just for simplicity and then call this course day oops make this a auto number safe course day all right let's populate this guy in there all right so we're done with that and let's populate the new one this one would be Tom um, it's called course time ID auto course time and then we're gonna make this a primary key save course time Let's populate this guy so the time will be from um, from age copy that from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. so now now um, we got this guy uh, already related to the course Tom and this guy so that's good and dandy all right we need to tie this uh, course day and time together all right and they should always be together so we're gonna create a relationship between these two guys first so let's create another table called course day time uh, no let's call this uh, day 
Tom. Uh, my bad. My bad. We want the course day ID. Course Tom ID. And then make this guy make this guy a primary key. That's how you create a many to many relationship. And this is what I want to say. Day Tom reference. Alright. So now we got these two reference. Okay. This will reference the uh, the course day and course time. A day can have as many time as you want. For example, Monday can have uh, can have all the times throughout, or Tuesday. Likewise, the 8 a.m. can have many days. So that's how that works. All right, then that's many to many. So, and now we gotta have we have to tie all these together, right? The course, day, and time. So now we have to create another table called uh, course ID uh, course day ID actually this will be number number and this course time ID and that's two also a number now we got to tie all these together all right when you make them a uh, unique a primary key that means they cannot be known all right so we're gonna call course day time reference and that's how that works I need to revisit this one I think it's the yeah that's why I thought that would be the number that would be the number all right save that so so that's how you do it all right anytime you have make this a primary key that cannot be known all right so now currently no course is assigned all right if the course were assigned to a day and a time that would we would have something in here all right you cannot assign a course to a day without time all right so all must exist in here otherwise it won't work all right now let's populate this guy we want this guy the daytime to exist always all right you can yeah so the day and time should always exist all right and um, and we're gonna implement that right now all right let's go to create module let's call this uh, let's call this a uh, daytime daytime db access and then we're gonna say uh, sub uh, at time at daytime nope um at time to day all right this is just basically going to uh we're just going to execute this one time and then we don't have to worry about it all right so this will be this will be uh hmm, day uh day or s as record set uh time or s as record set and then we're gonna need the uh, as string yeah, like so and now we're gonna open up the uh, record set all right so set day time or s we want to iterate through the days Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. All right. So each day we're gonna populate time into it. That's what we are doing right now. So uh, current open up, and this would be course day. 
all right and then down here we're gonna say set uh, day or s equals nothing now we want to find out if there is anything in there so let's do um, if day or s bracket set greater than zero then day or s uh, move first we want to loop through like I just mentioned we want to iterate through each uh, each day so to do that we just say do until um, day os in the file and loop all right once we come in here once we come in here before we do that we want to say Oh yeah, we need to uh, make sure that we advance forward. Otherwise, we're gonna get stuck. All right. So now we can say set uh, time OS equals current DB. Oops. Current DB open. This will be course time. All right now similarly we want to say if there is time in there uh, record set record count then we want to come in here and if and then go ahead and set time um, or s equals nothing all right and here we want to loop to the time all right so now we're going to say um, time OS uh, move first do until time OS in the file loop and then we want to do uh, time OS move next all right now what do we want to do here okay so if they exist we want to say uh, we want to say uh, sequel equals sequel equal. we want to say insert into um, the time reference And this will be the day ID, post day ID, course time ID by use. So this is what you would do and then we're just going to say this will be the day um, day or s exclamation course day id comma here we'll say time or s course time ID that's it that's what we want to do we want to just insert this guy until it's done all right so let me let's double check this uh, name so it's day time reference and in there is course day course time ID ID course day uh, day time reference Host day ID, host time ID, value. That's how we want to do it. All right. So let's execute this. Um, current DB execute. And let's save this guy. All right. Let's execute this. Let's go ahead and populate this. And I will show you how to uh, 
how to uh, do the uh, the course and select course. All right. So let's create a uh, let's let's just add a button uh, something. Uh, let's call this execute. Just some, just something to execute that guy. All right. So. Uh, CMD execute just something to execute the uh, what we have all right all we have to do is the time db access and just like that oh don't forget gotta make a call call all right save we we'll call this uh, test test all right so that's that so all we have to do is just execute it and we should see something in there currently it's empty all right and we're gonna execute this guy let's run it uh, let's see course oh I miss an I miss an R I miss an R right there there yep save that and continue with the f5 done so now we should see something in here there you go so this number one represents monday and this is the time am so on all right so we can we can take a look at that in a minute but right now just so that you know this one is one is uh, Monday, Tuesday, two is Tuesday, three is uh, Wednesday. If you look at this day, course day, see one is Monday, Tuesday, those are the references, all right? And here's the same, okay? That one is uh, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., and so on. And if you look at this guy, that's what we have. So that's how we populate the relationship, all right? Now, the reason why I do this so that we don't have to uh, mess with it again alright that should be just when you start up the system that's how it should work if you were to write this in the application alright um, now how would you uh, add this guy in there well this is we're gonna we are going to use the form to do this alright but right now we need to create some kind of temp table to hold the temp data so um, let's create a, another table we're gonna call this we are going to call this course ID um, course day ID uh, this would be number number course time ID and you will see why I did this uh, in a minute and uh, this would also be a number and then we want a course uh, day what is it course name course course day okay we can want to see this name all right and I see let me see the time here that's time okay so um, normally in access sometimes and many times as notice if you were to query this course day because of the field name I just noticed this what I did here course time you would get conflict so what I'm gonna do here I am going to change this name for now because I don't want to get into it later on so let me go modify this I just realized course day name you gotta make sure that that field is different than the table name you know see that so I know I've done that many times and that's just from experience I noticed it didn't want me to query with the same name it said it it's like some kind of circular motion 
all right so but make sure your field name is different than and then the table name all right that's all you need now if you were to work with the sql sql doesn't care it's real smart this guy is not as smart and he thinks the table uh just like when you break it out all right and it thinks either a field name or a table name so we can make it yeah we can make it different so that will be uh, of course uh, the name and then course time name all right so now we don't want to uh, we we can make this guy we can make this guy available always all right so we can do this so we can we can make this to a primary all right now the course uh, we don't know all right because this course could be selecting either either uh, one of these guys in there all right so uh, you will see when I continue to work like uh, continue to uh, code all right we're gonna call this course day time uh, temp so we're gonna call this a temp all right so what happens here we want to create when we open the form all right uh, as a matter of fact you know what let's do this let's uh now that we're done with that let's uh let's rename rename this a course assignment all right so let's uh let's yeah let's go ahead and demonstrate this um let's demonstrate this we're going to uh, add a um, text fields in here and populate the uh, course information so yeah long that's good enough Um, yeah that's good enough uh, let's uh, let's darken this guy up a little bit if we can find full color alright let's uh, copy paste I think that's good enough. Matter of fact, move that guy down just a tad right there. So we have uh, let's align this to the right. And this would be uh, course ID number name description name this guy uh, course ID txt course number txt course name txt course description all right now we're going to change this guy to 
a drop down list so that we can just select the uh, we call this course and this one is also course CBO like so so we want two columns in here and the first one will be the ID and we don't want to expose that and the second one is going to be 2.5 inch wide and let's go to the query here in the uh, table we're going to select uh, course ID and then we're going to select uh, Uh, course oh we need to have a term in there as well um, have course uh, mm, name number first number space course name and that's good for now just for demonstration that's good for now that would be course from course all right so that's good uh, we can order this by order by no nope, we don't need to do that that's fine because that's going to be by default it's going to be ordered by the course uh, ID so that's fine so let's save that all right we are missing one thing in here that is copy this guy move this guy up this will be the term term and this would be uh, this would also be a uh, drop down list so I'm going to change that to uh, term CBO term and two column zero and two and a half although it's real short but it's all right let's go to uh, zoom here we're going to select we're going to select uh, yeah we're going to select uh, term ID term name from term let's see what the terms are term yep term ID and term okay so if we yeah if just for demonstration purposes you know what I'm going to do this I'm going to make that a 2021 and this will be 2022 just so that would you see the two listed and I'm gonna come over here and change this term ID to 2 like so all right all right so um, and save for now so let's see what it looks like right now do we have yep how about this uh term name okay got you okay it's just a term all right so what we need to do here is to modify this guy call it term yeah term name because we don't want that term to be the field name to be the same as the table all right let's see uh, let's uh, let's refresh this guy we should see two terms yep perfect all right all right so what we're going to do now is to um, when we open this guy up we want to populate the first one 
uh, event on load. All right, on load. So before we set that, let's write a function call display course like we've been doing all right not much and then we just identify if not is no uh, CBO course then and then here we just can call set a as rocket set and then here we'll say if course is not no then we'll say um, set rs equals uh, current db open rocket set and here we'll say select everything from course where course ID equals me CBO course and then we'll say if RS record count is greater than zero then me um, as a matter of fact let's do this that what we get never mind that's okay and then we can say term equals terms equal um, RS what is the uh, just a second here. We gotta make sure term ID. Okay. Let's say term equals uh, term ID. Me takes course number equals course number me. Course name equals course name me course description equals course description. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's see how many do we have out here. One, two, three, four course ID missing course ID so we're gonna put uh, me course ID equals OS course ID that's that all right that is that so now we want to uh, set the first course equals uh, CBO course item zero that's the first one and then we say call display course all right and let's see how that works perfect so it pre-populated for us all right now what we want to do here I think this guy, you see there, you don't want to do that. We want to lock this guy. We don't want to, this is not administration, all right? Although you could, all right? But that's not my intention. My intention is to, how do you add the course day and time to this course, all right? So I'm just going to lock all this. That way you cannot change. So let's go to a lock. Yeah, a good um, good coding. You should always lock all your controls. All right. 
and um, and if you want to uh, update this guy you would have to create it buttons like add update delete and so forth and so forth alright but now I'm not going to do that I'm just going to demonstrate how you can populate this guy alright alright so that's good for there now we are going to uh, let's close this down save what we need to do is here yeah, we want to pre-populate this uh, this temp table alright when we open this course table all right for assignment course assignment we want to pre-populate all the days and time all right including the course if it, if it exists if it exists all right so let me show you how this works let's go to create uh, we are going to uh, we'll use my favorite type uh, as a matter of fact, these are only three fields, name, and so on. So let me take a look at this closely. So I'm going to need to create, first off, I'm, I'm going to need to create, let's do this. I'm going to need to create a uh, course day, course time and then it's reference all right so I need to reference this guy to that guy and I will say join I'm going to do a left join left join mean get all the course day get all the course day all right and here I'm going to do a right join on this side get all the course time all the course time see there and then I'm going to populate this guy in there, that guy in there. I don't want this name. I don't want this time. All right. And now I can I can say Corey day time uh, list. All right. So that's what I, we have. And if you close that out, take a look at day time right here. Okay, let's take a look at that. What's going on there? Uh, let's do this. Let's uh, let's do the let's do this. You might not like left and right. Let's uh, let's do the inner join for both of them. That should be fine, I think. Let's do the inner join. There you go. So, um, so that we have. The, uh, Monday you got Monday at 9 at 8 at 8 9 10 and so on and then Tuesday it starts the same way Wednesday it starts the same way okay so that's how we want all right now I want to create another one I want to keep that temp right there all right let's create another one okay uh, this time I want to say Matter of fact, uh, select insert into course day time temp uh, course. Make sure I put an R in there. Course day ID course time ID course uh, the name course course time name let's see what else in here course the name course time name Oh, yeah, that's fine. Leave, leave the course ID out because we don't know, All right? So that's good. That's good. Just close that, and then we'll say select, um, select course. Yeah, it would just be this guy right here. 
inside here it's so small I can't even tell you know what I can't tell it's too small let me open up my uh, my uh, notepad so let's do that oops yeah if you are uh, if you're working with just a mouse and a pad it's real hard to uh, ma magnify this guy up but it's alright so that's what I want uh, from Kiri the Tom list so that should be good let's copy that that seem to be a little better and I'm gonna save this query say add day time temp all right so I'm gonna close that out see if we can add see if we can populate this table right here I'm gonna close that out as well uh, nope so let's see if we can execute that guy Oh good, very good. There you go. So it did populate it. Look at this. Now look at this. Look at this temp temp guy. See there. That's what we want. That's one thing that we need to have here, All right? So let's go to the design. We need to add a selected field. All right, as a number. That way, that way we can select or deselect. All right. That way we can select or deselect. I'm going to save that. Take a look at it again. See, so we gotta select it or not select it. All right. So, so that is how you populate this guy. Uh, one thing that we need to do. One other thing that we need to do. We need to uh, remove this guy when we done when we done assigning. For example, when we are done with this form. All right. So eventually, we're gonna have a list of day and time on the right here. All right. And then we can just select okay and then we can just select uh, but um, yeah so uh, that's what we want to do in the future but right now we gotta create we gotta prepare this guy for 40 quad we're gonna need to learn we need we need to uh, remove that guy so let's create another one uh, you know I don't yeah I'm not very good with the uh, design I am okay with the uh, SQL delete now somehow uh, some of the videos I mentioned that in SQL if you were to write it in query here you have to add the asterisk delete from for for instance uh, course the time temp all right but now in the code for example in here I noticed that you don't have to put the asterisk in there if you were going to execute for instance you can say delete from all right whereas if you were to build this the code all right if you were to build the code in the query in here you if you were to build a query if you uh, were to build a query you would have to uh, put an asterisk like this all right that's kind of weird but just accept the fact that's how it works with access so if you were to do this in here you don't need to do you don't need to add it and an asterisk all right so I'm gonna remove that save that let's uh, undo that one for now so but in here you got to put an asterisk for this for instance I'm going to show you I'm going to take that asterisk out let's do query delete delete the time temp see there it doesn't know it doesn't know so you can't you, you can't save that guy but now if you 
put an asterisk in there like I mentioned this should be fine all right save uh, 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 it's too small let's try to see what is going on there what's going on there I'll oh, delete the delete that's why uh, I misspell I can't even tell it's too small okay let's try that uh, again take the asterisk out see if it allow me to delete okay it allows me to delete but what about can I execute oh yeah it does okay well sometimes it, yeah sometimes that didn't allow me to do it so that's removed all right let's try that again add good good and remove perfect that's what we want that is what we want all right that's uh, that is pretty quick for now there's going to be in the next series where I show you how to implement the, the uh, adding the uh, the uh, sub form to add course day and time on the right here but for now we've got the basics going and this is what this is how you would go about uh, uh, designing this thing to add the day and time to the course all right follow up with the next video and you will see all right happy programming thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe like share and hit that bell and also comment below and if you need help inbox me thanks again